Hi. Today I wanted to talk about Steadfords and this guide will hopefully help you to prepare for and perform at an Steadford. So for those who don't know me, my name is Mary Merchant. Hi. And I love to teach singing and music and I have my home studio and you can find out a bit more about me at my website which is singingstrong.com.au. So, what is an Steadford? Well, Steadfords are a great opportunity to use as motivation to learn repertoire, which means to learn songs, improve your skills and practice performing. Now, Steadfords date way back to the 12th century in Wales, and that's why it's a funny sounding word because it's a Welsh name and it's actually a competition involving testing individuals for song and dance, for instrumental and for drama and acting. Now, the Royal South Street of Steadford has been performing in Ballarat since 1891. So we've had a Steadfords in Australia for over 100 years, okay? And there are prizes involved at an Estedford. So this may include things like medals or trophies, uh, cash prizes, and uh, you can get certificates of commendation. You know, they call it highly commended, HM. Uh, so you can receive those sorts of awards. There's also cash amounts and scholarships, which can assist you to further your uh, music career, your music pathway. So preparing for an Estedford. An Estedford is different from other competitions for singing anyway, in that the judge or the adjudicator, as they're called at an Estedford, has the sheet music in front of them and they read what you are singing. So it's a little different from your regular competition where the judges are simply just sitting and watching and listening in an Estedford, you, they have the sheet music in front of them. So there has to be some accuracy in regards to, not that you wouldn't anyway, but there needs to be accuracy in the melody, so the pitch of the notes, the dynamic markings and the tempo. So it's important that we look carefully at what the composer has written on the sheet music, on the music score, and what they are asking the singer to do. Following what is written in the music score is vital, and this can be the difference between a first and second place at an Estedford. So the adjudicator might be having difficulty deciding on who should receive first or second, and a lot of the time it will be, well, how true to the music score were they? And that's a feature of an Estedford is that they're always looking at uh, the music in front of them. Singing at an Estedford is a lot of fun. So I've, um, I didn't start singing until I was in my early 20s. So I actually was a late bloomer in regards to singing. And so the opportunities to sing at an Estedford when I was a child just it didn't happen for me. However, I certainly enjoyed performing at a Steadfords as an adult. So don't think that you can't perform at an Steadford if you are an adult. Um, it's something that is quite feasible for older people. There are open sections which um, any age person can uh, participate in. Now you can see here, these are a couple of my students. This is Sophia and Esther and they're both holding trophies from the Steadfords. And I've had quite a number of students who have performed and been successful at Steadfords. And they've really had a lot of fun uh, meeting people who uh, enjoy singing. And because it's um, age categorized, you get to meet other people at your age who have a similar interest. And it's lovely to um, meet people and talk with them. And I'm hoping that that will be possible uh, at this year's Steadford, that you'll actually be able to, you know, hear other people sing and uh, just enjoy being able to get on stage and perform. So it is a lot of fun, can I reassure you. Even though it's a competition, it can be a lot of fun. 
Now, entries for the La Trobe Valley of Steadford, which is being held uh, at the end of August, the entries have been extended to Friday the 16th of July. So if you're still wondering whether you should enter or not, you still have until this Friday, the 16th of July, to place your entry. And all the information you need is at the Latrobe Valley Estate website, which is lve.org.au. And you also then have to place your entries online at stardom.com.au. So they have a uh, website where you actually place your entries for the Steadford. If you're not sure about any of this, please contact me. I'll be happy to help you with any of this. Now, preparing yourself for the Steadford. There's a couple of things you need to think about. It's a different thing from just a concert or um, other competitions. Uh, you need to be very careful about your song choice. It's very important that you choose carefully. Choose something you like to sing uh, you need to make sure that it's something you can handle. So you don't want to be choosing something that is too difficult and that you're not going to be able to do your best at. So you need also to consider the section you're entering. So uh, some sections just say vocal solo. That means you can sing any song you like. Uh, some actually have um, music theatre. There are Christmas carol sections. There's, I think there's a jazz and a country section as well in the vocal sections this year. So you can enter those. Uh, and then the open sections, you have to look very carefully because some of them ask for um, an Australian composer. Some ask for, um, uh, what did they ask for? Like a sacred solo, you have to sing a, a hymn or something sacred, something religious. So you've got to make sure you're singing the correct song for the section. Be careful to choose something that's not too difficult, okay? It, it's really, it can be a dangerous thing. It's better to sing something simple that you can do well than trying to sing something that is just not in your capability and, and, and disappointing yourself because uh, you can't do it as well as you would like. You should be working on your songs right now like now, because it's only about seven weeks away. And that's not a lot of time to learn a song if you haven't already started working on it. Now, you need to make sure you can get access to the sheet music for the song. As I mentioned before, the adjudicator requires you to um, give them the sheet music. So you can't pick a song if you can't find the sheet music for it. So make sure there's plenty of websites on um, the internet where you can source uh, sheet music. I use musicnotes.com. That's a really good website uh, where you can access sheet music and they have most things. So just be careful with that and make sure also that it's in the right key. And if you need help with that, just ask me. Now, you have to be aware that you're going to sing with the piano. So there's a pianist or an accompanist, they call it, who will play for you. So you can't use backing tracks or anything like that. Um, you use the piano. And there's no microphone in this is Stedford. Some of Stedford's, they have contemporary sections where you can use a microphone. I know in Warrigal they have that. But at Taralgan at this stage, they don't. So you are to sing with the piano with no microphone. Now, the uh, Stedford at the moment is still at the original um, art center in the little theater. So it's not a huge space to sing in, but you still need to have some resonance and sing out. So you need to be practicing singing your voice, you know, making your voice project, sing it out, okay? So there's some things you need to think about to prepare yourself. One thing that's most important, and this was often why an adjudicator would give a first prize to a performer. And I've sung at many Steffords and I've also been to many where my students have performed. And if we're not doing this, if we're not singing with expression, then uh, you are you know, it, it's going to be more difficult for you to have success. So the adjudicator, yes, looks at the technical skills of the singer and how well they can sing it. So that has got a lot to do with it. But if there's a, a debate about who they would place in a 
in you know first second or third quite often it's the person who is um, telling the story who is using expression who is actually putting in a bit of movement uh, is being uh, engaging so is not just standing there and singing they're actually being a performer you have to treat the Estedford as a performance that you're at a concert and you're performing for a group of people and you're presenting it with expression. That's really, you know, that's the most important thing. You are actually trying to be a performer on stage. So sing with expression. Okay, the next thing, practice makes perfect. And I talk about this nonstop, constantly, and that's because you cannot make progress if you don't practice. Now, I've written there, practice makes perfect. Well, you know, practice makes mostly perfect, I suppose. We're never, ever really totally happy with our performance, I'm sure. However, uh, you cannot do this if you're not going to practice. Remember that all great musicians become what they were through lots and lots of practice. So make sure you've worked out a practice regime to prepare for your performance. And I've talked about... Um, with students that you should be practicing at least four times a week, at least, and for 20 minutes or more. And I would be saying, if you are preparing for an estate, but you have to find time every day, every day to go through your music. So go through your songs, um, pull them apart, you know, take some time to mark all the markings on your music score, checking what does the composer want, learning all the lines accurately, learning the dynamics, learning the tempo, working out how you're going to put in expression, practicing your performing, all of that sort of thing. It all takes a lot of time. It's a lot of work. There's no easy way around it. And you cannot cram. It will not work. You can't do last minute things. You've got to set it out and practice. Uh, I always feel that I need probably six months if the song is a bit difficult. I need at least six months for the body to get comfortable with the song. So we only have seven weeks. So you need to be getting onto it now and working on your songs every day. There's a lot to learn and it takes time to get a song perfect. Cramming at the last minute, it will not work. I guarantee you, it will not work. It's not like a, an exam. Um, your body needs time, as I said before, to get used to how the song fits in the body and how you, you know, memorizing the song, putting the expression in it, all takes time for it to come together. All right, some final tips. Try and practice as much as you can. <laughs> I've said that and said that and said that. Um, you need to practice. Rehearse with the pianist before the day of this effort to get used to how they accompany you. And uh, hopefully I can organize that. Uh, Anne Levitska is the uh, accompanist for the Latrobe Trobe Valley Stefford. You do not have to pay for the accompanist on the day of the performance. That's uh, part of your entry fee. However, you will need to pay for a rehearsal and that's only fair enough because Anne has to give up her time to work with you on uh, the accompaniment. But I highly recommend that you rehearse with her beforehand. You need to have a feel for how she plays it and she needs to have an, a bit of an understanding of how you sing it so that you can work together to present the, the item. And it's really important that you do take time to um, rehearse with the pianist. And again, with the sheet music, you require two copies, one for the pianist and one for the adjudicator. You must number all the bars on the music on the one you submit to the adjudicator. So you, you you have two copies, one you give to Anne to play from and the other you hand in when you arrive at the theatre, which is given to the adjudicator. Now, you can give copies, but be aware if you give a photocopy to the adjudicator, they will destroy it afterwards because of copyright reasons, okay? So just be aware of that. Now, the reason you have to number the bars is because the adjudicator, when they're listening to you, they, you know, give feedback about how you're going. So they'll give some positive comments about the things you're doing well and they will give suggestions about how you can improve your performance. And sometimes it's quicker for them as if they're looking at the music score, 
So they won't be reading it the whole way through. If they don't know the song well, they might be checking it a fair bit. If they know the song well, well they might and look at it so much. But if they want to make a comment about one of your something that you know you need to work on, they might say bar ten, um, watch the tempo there or something like that. So they have you need to number the bars on the music so the adjudicator can actually just quickly go, okay, there's bar ten. Um, this is what I need to write. So that's the reason for um, numbering the bars. Okay. So if you have any questions, please ask me. I'm only too happy to help. Um, it's really important that if you're not sure of anything, ask and so we can help you. Um, I want you to have as much success as possible. Remembering that in competitions, it's all about trying to better yourself. So I remember um, the first Estevford I sang at, I thought I was very average. I had a lot of fun, but I didn't actually get any places. I didn't get a first, second or third or anything like that. But I do remember the excitement of getting up and performing on stage. And I had a lot of positive feedback from the adjudicator and um, I was able to, you know, work on my skills and I would go to other Steffords and I started doing quite well. So it's a time thing and it's learning. Um, but if you have any questions, please ask and uh, yeah, get onto your music, start practicing. So I look forward to seeing you on stage soon. Uh, the La Trobe Valley of Steadford is in August. So it starts on, oh, let me see. I think it's the 28th of August. So it's about seven weeks. And um, the sing the vocal section is the first week end of the beginning of the Steadford. So you need to work out, you know, how you're going to prepare yourself so that you are well and truly ready to get on that stage and sing your heart out and have a lot of fun. All right. Thanks. Thanks for listening. And again, if you need any help, please contact me, mary at singingstrong.com.au. You can email me um, or even send me a message via the website. All right. Take care. Bye.